Hey everyone, it's Jordan Faith. I don't know about you, but I get easily bored with my hair. So an easy way to change it up is to add some color, but I really want to be able to do that without damage. So today I'm trying the Umberto Giannini Flowerology Temporary Hair Color Deep Conditioning Mask in the shade Mulberry, which is the one they made to work specifically for brunettes. So let's see if it does. I'll be applying this mask to dry hair. I had washed with the Umberto Giannini Curl Jelly Wash Shampoo the night before, skipped conditioner, brushed my hair out, and then left it to air dry. I don't think you actually need to skip conditioner, but I wanted to try it out. I'm very gently brushing out my waves again just to ensure that my hair is free of tangles. I'm using a brush with very flexible bristles and very slowly working my way from the ends up to the top, just being extra careful because I don't wanna hit any snags or cause any breakage. Then I'm sectioning my hair into four sections. First, separating the top half of my hair from the bottom then splitting that top section into two halves and clipping them up and out of the way. I'm also splitting the bottom into two sections and clipping one up and out of the way and leaving down just the section I'll be working on first. As soon as I started applying product to my first section, I realized I should have made the section smaller, but it worked out fine for me to just separate each section in half after letting it down to apply product. Make sure you wear gloves for this if you don't want your hands to be stained. Now that I'm all prepped, I'm grabbing the Umberto Giannini Flowerology Temporary Hair Color Mask in Mulberry and beginning the application. The product itself is very light and bright and very hot pink, which I wasn't expecting. I was expecting a deeper color. I'm just working it into my dry hair very thoroughly, doing my best to smooth and rake it through so that the entire section of hair is fully saturated before moving to the other sections. You could apply this with a dye brush if you wanted to, but I thought I'd prefer applying with just my gloved hands. I'm getting more product periodically to make sure I'm fully coating my hair from the ends all the way up to the roots and I'm applying extra around my hairline to grab my little baby hairs so they won't be left out. This did end up staining my scalp, which looked a little funky and like a hot root situation, but it didn't bother me at all. To avoid this, you could just be more careful with your application or even apply some Vaseline around your hairline and on your ears and neck to act as a protective barrier against the staining. The consistency of this mask was really nice. It was very creamy and lightweight, not too thick, not very runny, which made it very easy to apply and smooth through my hair. And it was easy to squeeze out of the tube, even though my hands were covered in the mask, which made things a little slippery. And it also had a really nice light floral scent, which wasn't overwhelming during the process.
After finishing half of my hair, I clipped that half up just to keep it out of the way. This process quickly became very messy for me, but I'm doing my best. It was hard to keep the color from getting all over my neck and all over my arm as I was working the mask through my hair, but it did wash off really easily when I was finished with the process and started cleaning up. I'm repeating all the steps on the other side of my hair, making sure to split the sections as I go so that I'm not left with any dry spots in the middle. I made sure to continue using a generous amount of product throughout the process so that every section was fully saturated for an even application of color. After the second half of my hair is completely coated, I am going to twist it up and clip it up on top of my head as well. I did end up using the entire bottle of the temporary color mask. And like I said, it was very, very messy. I took off my gloves and got myself and the area cleaned up. Then I put on a shower cap so the mask would stay damp as it stained my hair. I rinsed the dye out completely and then I added a little bit of the Umberto Giannini banana butter leave-in conditioner. And then I styled with the Umberto Giannini curl jelly scrunching jelly. Diffused and then air dried the rest of the way and actually played in the park for a few hours with my kids. So hopefully it's not that windswept. And these are the results. I think the color looks so good. It's very subtle except for around my hairline where my scalp is stained because I didn't wipe it off properly. But you can definitely tell that my brown hair has a pinkish tint to it. And you can especially tell when there's more light directly shining on it, like when I'm out in the sun. I'm really happy with the way it looks. I love the color. I think it's very pretty. I think it looks nice with my skin. And it's okay with me that it's not that dark or that vibrant. Like I said, I did use the entire tube of the temporary color mask. I do have a second one right here, and I think they're about $10. These two were gifted to me, but this isn't sponsored in any way, and I didn't get the products in exchange for making a video. I'm just making a video because I wanted to share my review and my results. I'll have to see how long this lasts before it completely fades out, but I think it was really fun. It was really easy to apply for the most part. I'm just not that talented at it, but it didn't take very long and I did end up leaving it on for an hour. And because of that, I didn't use my heat cap. But looking back, I probably should have just tried with my heat cap anyway to see if that would have let my hair absorb a little bit more of the color. Maybe I'll do that next time. Overall, I think it turned out really nice and it was really fun. So if you have lighter brown hair, this might be a good option for adding some color without damaging your hair. And because it is a mask with color and not just a direct dye, it doesn't stain as bad as regular dye. So I got some on my counter and I didn't wipe it up right away, but I was still able to get it completely clean when I was done applying it and took off my gloves and cleaned up the whole area. So that is definitely a plus because with dyes, if you drip some on the counter, it usually stains a bit even if you wipe it up right away. 
I think if you're a blonde or have highlights, this is an awesome option because they have a few different shades for you to choose from and they definitely do show up. Oh, and this mask has a much lighter smell than dyes I've used in the past. So it might be a better option for you if you don't like the smell of hair dye or it's just too strong for you. But to be clear, this doesn't take the place of hair dye. It won't act in the same way and it's not as pigmented, but you can get a nice tint to your brown hair. And I think you could definitely get some nice vibrant color if you have really light hair. Let me know what you think of my results in the comments below. And let me know if you prefer this pink tint all over or if you were more a fan of the purple face framing highlights I recently did. As always, there are links in the description for all the products that I use as well as timestamps for each section of the video so it's nicely bundled and organized for your consumption. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up Click on the subscribe button and the notification bell if you don't want to miss out on any of my future videos, including an update on whenever this completely fades out. I really love switching things up about my hair to keep it fun and interesting and new. And so I had a lot of fun with this and I hope you enjoyed it too. Remember to love yourself fully and faithfully and I'll see you next time.